So you're wondering, does the size of the sensor in the camera really matter in dental photography? Well, the short answer is yes, it does. And here's why. So in case you're new to the channel and you don't know what a sensor is, a sensor is basically the mechanism inside the camera when you take off the lens uh, that is responsible for letting the light into the camera to create an image, okay? And everything, has, everything that's a camera has a sensor, even video cameras. So your iPhone has a sensor, the intraoral cameras at your work, have, have sensors. So everything has sensors that takes a photo or video, okay? And the size of that sensor determines basically the quality, okay? So the smaller the sensor is, the less light it's gonna let into the camera, resulting in a lesser quality. And a bigger sensors, the kind that you might see in a full frame camera is gonna let in a lot of light. So there are typically in dental photography, there are two different sizes of sensors. There's the APS-C, also known as the crop sensor. And there is the full frame designated by uh, FE in the Sony world. I'm not sure what Canon is or Nikon, but they have their own special designation for full frame. There is a difference in price, okay? The crop sensor camera is about half the cost of a full frame camera. Uh, so a full frame, you're looking at about, you know, the body, just the body alone is going to be about $1,500 used. Uh, and the lens is probably about $1,000 and up. Will you be able to see the difference? The longer that you're doing dental photography and taking photos of things and you're actually getting into the software and looking at it and pixel or um, pixel peeping is what they call it. And you're looking at, you know, how green it is. Yeah, you're going to be able to see the difference. But for social media, you're not going to be able to see a huge difference. All your uh, APAs, uh, and Nash, all those guys, they're all using full frame cameras. If you are looking at dental photography as an investment and you want to get really get into the hobby, uh, I would probably lean towards a full frame if you can afford it um, than a crop sensor because eventually you are going to go to a full frame. That's what everybody does. That's what I did if you want that quality. So, and if you have any comments about this video or have any questions, Leave them in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video.